Hi guys, a couple things before we get started. I just wanted to let you know that this video mainly touches on the technical aspect of YouTube and being a pet YouTuber and not so much about animal care itself, but I did want to stress that animal care should come before your videos or your channel if you ever decide to start one, that your animals are your priority and your channel comes second. So keep that in mind and this is just my advice along with some other creators. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope that it helps you somehow. <laughs> Today I actually have a video that I talked about making about a month ago. Myself and a lot of other creators get asked very often, how do I start a channel? So I thought I would just go ahead and make a video and reach out to a few creators and ask them what their advice is and just kind of compile it all into like one little video. I did want to make a disclaimer though, cause like I don't want this to come off like I'm like all knowing or anything. Basically there's more than one way to start a YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm not an expert. So I guess the first thing I kind of want to touch on is how to actually get started with YouTube. My best advice is to just start filming things. I know so many people will message me and they'll be like, Hey, I'm gonna start filming and I'm gonna start YouTube soon and but first I have to do all this other stuff and get this equipment. They're overthinking it way too much and they're stressing about it before they even begin. So that leads me into my next point and it's equipment. What equipment do you need to be a pet YouTuber, just a YouTuber in general? My personal opinion is use your phone or whatever you have. You can buy some inexpensive lighting off Amazon. I do have a softbox that I can use to film at night, which is really nice. I think it was like $40 off Amazon, but like you don't have to get anything fancy. Natural lighting works fine too. That's what I prefer to use, but in situations where I can't really film until later on in the day, then I do have to rely on artificial light. I do want good lighting, I'm not gonna lie. I would say that's much more important than your camera. And this is even coming from somebody who does have a degree in photography because essentially the picture you're taking is drawing with light. I'll spare you the details, but lighting is really important. Personally, I use my iPhone. I have the iPhone 10X, I don't know, but that's what I use now. When I first started my channel, I used the iPhone 7. And I know that Exotic Slayer also used his iPhone 7. And his look how successful his channel's been with just a phone and editing like with free software. Now that we've talked about that, let's talk about editing. Editing is a big deal. You're gonna want to edit and learn how to edit. People really aren't going to want to sit through like, say you're feeding your tarantulas and your tarantula takes like 20 seconds to catch the cricket. It's never a good idea to just have like a long space. If something's not contributing to the video, take it out. I'm gonna say that sometimes I have like 30 minutes of footage and the video turns out to be like five or 10 minutes. That goes to show you how much I'll cut out of one video. And editing takes a lot longer. It depends how much editing you do, but I would say the average editing time for me for a five to 10 minute video could be anything from a couple hours to usually around four longer if it's a longer video. As for the software though, that's not that important either. I use iMovie, it's free. I just use it on my phone and I do like a rough edit on my phone and then I airdrop it onto my Mac and I chop it up even more and like do the extra edits that I wanna put in that my phone can't do. I usually mess with settings a little bit and then I upload it on private and then I, I have to, you have to fill out like the title, the description, the tags, and literally all of that. I would say that process takes like three times longer than the actual filming part. The filming part is the easy part. The editing and uploading, that is the part that can get tricky and frustrating. So let's talk about when you upload your first few videos. Usually they're just kind of basic. They're not anything fancy. I know my first few videos are not good at, they're not something that I would put out now. Let's just say that. Eric and I have a lot of pets. But once you start uploading, it's really important to not get discouraged if you're not getting views or you're not getting subscribers right away. It does take time to do that, but eventually like the more videos you put out, obviously the more people who will find your channel. So it's, it's important to just keep putting videos out and make sure that you're titling them good and make sure that the thumbnails look decent because these are things that are pretty important. There will be highs and there will be lows. There will be periods where you get a lot of views and a lot of subscribers and then there will be slow periods where you will sit there and just be like, 
but you have to remember why you're doing this. You shouldn't be starting a channel solely to get views or fame or money or anything like that because if that is your goal, like you're just not gonna stick with it. You're not going to continue. You have to really actually enjoy what you're doing and enjoy the content you're making to be successful in my opinion because if you're not into it, then viewers aren't going to be into it. Literally every video I put out, I watch it multiple times and I just think, how can I make it better? What can I do to make it better? And you're always going to be improving. That's why you have to just start. Your first few videos don't have to be these amazing viral videos. They can just be you showing your tarantulas or showing your snakes or whatever kind of animals that you keep. You can do an unboxing if you're into unboxing. Those videos usually do pretty good, but you gotta be careful with that too because you don't wanna fall into a hole of just constantly doing unboxings. You're gonna want variety. As much as people enjoy unboxings and feeding videos and all my pets videos, you can't sustain a YouTube off of just those type of videos alone. You have to be creative and think of other content that you can put out there. But on the same token, don't overthink it. If you just wanna do like a chill video, hey, here's my Brachypoma tarantulas, something like that, that's great. You can do that too. This is some advice that I think a lot of future creators need to hear. I just kind of realized it along the way. You're going to develop your own style and that's what you want. There's so many channels that I appreciate. Don't try to be like those channels. It's totally fine to be inspired by them, but don't try to be them. Who's going to be better at being the dark den? The dark den or some other creator that's up and rising? Who Who is going to be better at it? So you need to find what makes you unique and your video style unique. Okay, so let's jump into what some other creators had to say when I asked them for advice on how to start a YouTube channel. So first, let's start with Peko. He's somebody that I always have looked up to. I think what he had to say was spot on. Right away when I asked his advice, he said consistency. And that is so important. If you're going to be starting a channel, I suggest that you post at least twice a week. The more videos you put out there, the more videos for people to find. And don't expect a shout out is all you need and be aware that shout out doesn't really do much. A lot of new creators think that getting a shout out from a larger channel is what is going to kind of carry them. It doesn't really work like that. A shout out can only get you so far. It, it, it gets you that that base audience maybe, but they're not going to stay unless you're worthwhile staying to. They're not going to care about watching any more videos unless you upload videos unless you upload videos that people care about you don't need a shout out and a shout out isn't necessarily going to help you unless your content is interesting you'll get an influx of subscribers once you get the shout out but that doesn't last and it's not as much as you think i have given smaller channel shout outs sometimes they'll gain like five subscribers sometimes they'll gain like 20 subscribers Right now I have like 15,000 subscribers. So as you see, just giving a shout out isn't getting them a whole bunch of subscribers. I mean, it, it can be a considerable amount, especially if it's from like a very big channel, but it's not enough to make your channel successful. He said, don't do it strictly in hopes to have big numbers. That's how you can get discouraged really fast. Next, let's talk about Emma Sampson's advice. She gave me some really good advice to share with you guys. Never speak in absolutes. Always be respectful towards people who may disagree with you. You don't need a ton of animals. Just make videos on the animals you're passionate about, whether it's one animal or 30 animals. And four, learn how to use YouTube tags correctly. <laughs> That's some great advice. So thank you so much, Emma. I also asked Emily Rose her advice and she gave me a nice paragraph. Note the part where she said, and of course be willing to hear criticism yourself. It is so hard to not get defensive when somebody says they disagree with some of your husbandry or how you're keeping an animal because our animals are like so personal to us. But it is important to realize that you don't know everything. Subscribers give me advice that I end up applying and realizing is probably better than what I was doing. So thank you, Emily. I also asked Maddie Smith and Tyler Ruggie their advice. First they said this, Maddie said, but for real, don't get animals just for views. Focus on making each of your animals enclosures the best you can make it. 
only speak on what you know to be true and what you have experience with and never form public alliances and everyone is simultaneously your friend and also your enemy. Deep and true. It is true. You have to be really cautious. Thank you, Maddie and Tyler, I guess. I asked Mark's Tarantula as also if he had any advice and I really liked his advice. I think it's really good. So he said, for my tip, I'd say be unique, be different. People will remember you and try to keep your content fresh. So true. Thank you so much, Mark. Also shout out Mark. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe. He's awesome. And I also asked Emzotic, which coincidentally she had just posted on her story some tips that day. So she sent me that as well as an extra tip. She said, don't work yourself up into being scared, just start. You don't need a whole zoo. It's better to keep fewer animals brilliantly than 50 plus in meh conditions. Don't promote products you don't absolutely love. She also wanted to add another point is it's okay not to know the answer. And I also did ask one other YouTuber, her channel is It's Anna Louise, and her response was this. So thank you, Anna, for that as well. So I hope this video helps somebody out there, and I know when I get this question in the future, I will probably just send them a link to this video since I was able to fortunately compile some advice from other creators as well. I know this isn't like my usual kind of video, but I do like to do these sit down talks from time to time. So hopefully this was entertaining, even if you're not thinking about starting a channel, hopefully you took something away from it comment if you did. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. That was so much talking. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired of talking and now I have to edit this and listen to myself talk for hours. I have some more videos coming out soon. I don't know exactly what my posting schedule is going to look like for the next week because we have that big show. It's going to be fun. See you guys soon.